Fortnite, if you somehow haven't heard, is one of the newer fast-paced additions to the whole battle royale genre, which has recently exploded in popularity and has really taken the internet by storm, with it even surpassing its reasonably sized competitive player unknowns battlegrounds. And if you have somehow managed to escape it, I envy you. I really do. Now, if you somehow don't know what the game is about, I'll give you a brief rundown. 100 people jump out of a bus to land, collect loot, and then fight to the death and the last 1-4 to four people alive, depending if you're playing with friends, wins. Fortnite is a game that has been in development for over 9 years by Epic Games, and I have to say it's come a really long way from when it first started. It started off pretty much being the co-op save the world mode that currently comes as a paid extra with the game today that Epic have already announced will be going free to play alongside with the Battle Royale game mode that they have already released, which I'm sure will make the game grow even more than it has been over the past year. Epic Games clearly saw a big opportunity from seeing games like H1Z1 and the newest one being PUBG. It really capitalized on the whole game mode at the right time, by offering a free to play, non-broken optimized version that anyone can get into. And who can really blame people for making the Switch? I personally think that it probably wouldn't have even been half the success it is now without the Battle Royale game mode. The game's art style is really something that sets it apart from the other games in the genre. Games like PUBG and H1Z1 went for a very realistic game design, where Epic took a more Team Fortress 2 and Overwatch approach to the game, to make it stand out from the crowd. It really would have been something that attracted people because it comes across as something eye-catching and easier to look at, and would give new players a sense of simplicity, which I think a lot of games have been lacking a lot of recently, and really would be able to appeal to a larger audience with the more simplistic style it has to offer. As it doesn't give off the harsh realism that doesn't suit a lot of players' interests, it was really able to appeal to a younger generation of players as well. While I think it being free to play is one of the big factors to its growth, as I stated earlier, it runs so much much better and is a lot more of a completed game and available on so many more platforms. Really anyone can have access to it with it coming out on mobile and soon to be on the Nintendo Switch. So really it's available to anyone and everyone that wants it instead of it being available on exclusive platforms and restricting themselves like PUBG did. Recently I've noticed quite a few people criticising the game with some very poor points, which I'd like to discuss. One of the main ones that I saw was that you have to run in the game. This is undoubtedly one of the worst criticisms I've seen. Considering that you're running in an empty field with no one around you, there's not going to be much going on, and really, if you're bored in the game, it's probably your fault. If you headed around the more popular areas where people go and land, then I'm sure that there would be someone for you to kill or fight, as opposed to just walking around aimlessly in fields, which is clearly not going to give you any form of entertainment. As some of you might also know, Fortnite has gotten so big to the point where famous artists such as Drake and Travis Scott recently livestreamed playing with Ninja, who is currently the top Fortnite streamer on Twitch, and from this I'm sure you know broke so many streaming records, and would have brought even more attention and a lot of new players to the game who may have not heard about it previously. And it was pretty funny seeing how surprised people were that a celebrity was playing a video game. Like, I know it might be hard to believe, but you gotta trust me, it's not as weird as you think. In fact, I'd like to see it a lot more. Another point to Fortnite's growth is that it has taken over many platforms such as YouTube and Twitch, with it capping at one point over 600,000 people watching it at once, which to me is absolutely insane to see how far the game has come. Epic have recently been going above and beyond to release new game content and updates on a regular basis, with new game modes and weapons pretty much being added or changed every week. And it really does keep the game entertaining, and I check back sometimes just to see what new game mode or character skin they might have released or brought back into the store. And the fact that they chose to have in-game cosmetics and keep the game free to play is a much better decision. Not just from a business standpoint, but also being able to play a good game for nothing is amazing. Another thing I would like to touch on is the looting system for the game, which is also a lot easier to use for a lot of people because of a game like PUBG where you have to worry about what kind of armor you're wearing and what level it is. And it honestly makes things so much more complicated than it needs to be. Fortnite provided an easier alternative with shields, and when you first land at whatever location, you really don't need anything fancy to go around and rack up a few easy kills as long as you play tactically. What clearly sets this game apart is the building mechanic. Instead of being able to be stalked about out in the open, with no means of cover or protection, Fortnite provided an easy solution. You are able to collect materials such as wood, bricks and metal to construct simple or complex fortresses to 
to protect yourself in. And instead of a firefight depending on who has the better aim or who sees who first, you're able to give yourself a chance and it really requires a lot more thought to how it's going to play out and the fight can turn any direction in seconds. It's clear to see those who have more experience easily use this to their advantage and win most fights. At this point, I'm surprised that I haven't walked around and seen hundreds of people wearing backpacks, shoes, or some sort of Fortnite merchandise, which I'm sure is soon going to be inevitable with how massive this game has grown. Whether it be legitimate or not, I'm really not looking forward to seeing it when it does. Another reason that Fortnite was able to gain a bit more hype was that it's been in development for so long, people would have gradually heard about it, and when it was announced at E3 in 2015, it would have gotten people curious to see the final product. And on its first day of launch, received over 1 million players. That's all I have to say for this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I should have something for you soon. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.